Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're taking a look today at uh, 1 Samuel, chapter number 26. And we see this uh, thing between uh, King Saul and David is, uh, uh, well, it's still going on. We see that uh, uh, Saul is still um, chasing David, still trying to kill him. And and we see here in this chapter that Saul is, in, and Saul is camped and he's, he's sleeping with the... Um, uh, top of his army, Abner, is sleeping right next to him, and, and they're in a tent, and the Lord puts a deep sleep on all of the all of them that, that are chasing David, and, and David's allowed to go into the tent, and, and essentially, he can do what he wants. I mean, he, he can kill the king, he can kill his servants, he can, he, can, he can do whatever he wants, but what does he do? David grabs a spear, the king's spear, and he grabs the water jug that's right next to the king's head. And then he gets far enough away where he says, Hey, look, the Lord has delivered you into my hand. I could have done anything I want. And and he calls, calls out to him with that. And he shows them. But he doesn't. You see, see this, this is twice that he doesn't. Uh, he has twice that he has an opportunity to, to, to just get rid of Saul. King Saul, once and once and for all, just kill him and get it over with. But he doesn't. And why doesn't he? We read in uh, verse 9, it says, But David said to Abishai, Do not destroy him, for who can stretch out his hand against the Lord's anointed and be guiltless? You see, David doesn't just recognize that this is Saul after me. David recognizes that the position itself is an anointed position and that the authority comes from God. You see, David recognizes that, listen, it, it's not up to me to take the authority away from this guy. It's up to the Lord. It's up to God. He's the one that gave it. He's the one that can take it away. And, and David goes on to say, and, and he lists out a couple different ways maybe the ending could come for King Saul. Uh, but David sa says, no, it won't be for me because it's not my choice. And, you know, for us in our lives, how do we apply that? You know, for us in our lives, you know, we may not agree with the way people who have authority over us, we may not agree with their decisions. We may not agree with their actions. Uh, but the Lord doesn't ever ask us to. You see, the Lord asks us to honor and respect the authority because all authority comes from him. See, the Lord doesn't want us to attack in any way the authority that is above us. The Lord asks us to trust him. And allow him to make the decisions of people in authority. And when you're in a position of authority, you would you would appreciate people not attacking you. I'm sure, you know, I've been in that position. I've been in plenty places of, of authority. And, and I, I really, it, it's a great thing when you can get people to work together rather than fighting against you. And you see, David David recognizes that a place of authority is given by God and that we're called to just honor that position. And, you know, I, I see too many times people just bad-mouthing or, or even just verbally attacking pastors, bosses, the... You know, so many people in authority and, and, you know, God doesn't call us to do that. And we see here, this is a great lesson from David that we're not called to destroy that person that's in authority over us. We're called to honor, to honor that authority and obey the Lord. You know, and, and sometimes we may not agree. But. If they're not asking us to go against God, if they're not asking us to hurt ourselves or maybe hurt the company we work for or hurt the other people in the church, if they're not asking us to do anything like that and we're not going against the word of God, we have to trust that that authority is from God because it is and we have to follow. So it's a very touchy subject and a lot of people don't like to hear this. A lot of people don't like to hear that that person in authority over you is there because God put him there. But all authority comes from God. And all authority can be taken away from God, even what you have. So I love you all. Have a super, super day.